North Alabama wins game one of the NCAA tournament, 3-2, to two, a late-inning rally over West Florida. And we're chatting with UNA head softball coach Ashley Cozart. And coach Cozart, uh, a late, stressful ball game, but how good did it feel to get out there and win game one of the NCAA tournament? It feels great. You know, sometimes you need these games, and um, just to see our crowd get electric like that, and our kids that have these moments, and those kids that step up in big moments, I mean, that's what gives you confidence moving forward. So I'm really proud of that. A little bit nervous. You know, I'd like to score a little bit earlier. Um, but, again, we found a way to win, and I was definitely proud of that. West Florida scored two runs in the first inning. Freshman Lakin Stefano out in the circle. But what about the way the young freshman sort of regained her composure after that and really, for the most part, shut down West Florida? Great job. You know, we really should have only given up one, and, and even that, they did, it really wasn't on her that much. And so I'm just super proud of Lakin. You know, it's it's a lot to ask a freshman to come out here in this atmosphere, and, and I'm just super proud of how she handled herself and pushed through after after giving up two runs. And um, Megan came in and, and closed it out. And so, I, again, that's a pretty good one-two punch right there. An error in the first inning helped one of those runs cross, but what about – the way the defense was after that, I think three double plays overall in the ball game. Yes, defense, great. I mean, defense wins championships. Our defense has been solid all year long. And Alex Brown is one of the best second basements I've ever had. You know, just uncharacteristic there. But um, she came back and did a great job at second base. And it just, it's fun to see us play defense. All right, Coach, let's jump into the sixth inning. Your team trailing. Kara Brewer leads off with a single, eventually finds her way to third. And I feel like every interview we do, we bring up Kara in some sort of fashion. But, again, the senior comes through pretty big for you. Definitely. Kara, big leadoff single there. And Hannah was a – you know, Hannah got a big home run earlier, and we told Hannah, stay out of the double play. And, again, she she hit a shot to second base, though, and, and Kara kind of missed the tag and got on second for us. And so, um, again, we're always talking about her. And then Reagan got up there and – no other person I want the bat in her hands but her. Reagan Tittle comes up with the game-tying single. Katie Eeks follows inches away from a home run, but what about Katie coming through with a late-inning hit? The thing I love about Katie is she's always so focused, always going to give 110%. That kid is just so gritty, and, and she wants the bat in her hands. And I actually had Reagan stealing on that pitch, and so I, I kind of felt like Katie was going to swing at the first pitch, and she roped it, and, and Reagan just scored easy. But super proud of Katie. That kid, in between innings, she's hitting off a tee. She's just a leader on this team and how hard she works and her uh, mentality. All right, Coach, so you guys win three uh, to two, uh, winning game one. You guys will advance into the winner's bracket to take on St. Leo. After the game, though, a great moment, a graduation ceremony for Kara Brewer and Lexi Norfleet. Uh, President Kitts came out there, but how special was that for them to get to graduate on their home field? It's very special. You know, I talked to them before this, and they said there's no place they'd rather be than on the field with their teammates, you know, graduating. And so it's just, um, you know, it's a heartfelt moment that our kids saw and love that they're going through it. Um, I'm glad that um, Mark Linder and Dr. Kitt set that up for us because it was definitely a special moment and something that will mo motivate us as we go on. Coach, thanks for talking with us. Thank you.